Oh, this was the day that Chris Hani was assassinated. And of course, this day always commemorated here in South Africa. Desiree Chauke is in the East Rand this morning. Uh, there's a lot of events that are expected to take place. Um, and uh, she's there to tell us exactly what is going to be happening. Desiree, a very, very good morning to you. A very good morning, Leanne, and a good morning to all of our viewers. We're here in Ekuruleni, and we're at the Thomas Ngobi Cemetery, where we're marking 21 years, can you believe it, since that humble man from Kofimvaba. And you, you might call him humble, but he had such a universal appeal because he could be placed anywhere in the world and he would fit in. The Commander-in-Chief of Umkonto Wesizwe, Utembisile, uh, Chris Ani, and we marking that day today. The municipality of Ekurulen is making quite a big event of it. Instead, in fact, we standing in front of a very towering structure that's going to be unveiled later on today. But we, let me not go too much into it and bring in our guest, the executive mayor of Ekurulen. Mr. Kukubelo, welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Desiree. Good morning to your viewers. We are in Ekuruleni, and this is where the big giant rests. How appropriate? It's correctly so because this is where he lost his life. This is the place where before he died, he planned how to pursue peace as a foundation of a new South Africa. He was killed in pursuit of that program. We are using this to ensure that this structure is a structure to remember this warrior of peace. And we are actually insisting that wherever we come here, we use this structure, not as a place where we throw venom of anger and hatred. It must be a structure every time we pause to remember what he stood for, a single South Africa that actually accept that we are one blacks, white, purple or brown. So this is what we are using this occasion for. Let's pause a bit about the structure and talk about the man, um, a humble man from Tofimvaba, mm. whose values were very much centered around education and social justice. Tell us about this man, remind us of who Chris Ani was. Uh, the, the quite of time I had with him was a highly educated individual, supposedly an academic. Somebody who could have opted to sit at words, research, read books, and speak a lot of English on television. Against that background, this is a man who would spend time in villages, in the rural communities, sleeping in those rural villages, talking to ordinary people about the foundations of freedom. This is a man we ran with in all these informal settlements, explaining the sunset clause why we had to accept codes of living together and so on. This man could sit in a shack, eat with ordinary people. He was actually reachable and uh, he could identify with all classes of society. Yeah. He's a man who you will understand when he died, the entire nation was moved because everyone, the poorest and even the richest, associated with him. We can't escape the irony, however, of the fact that he graduated from Rhodes University and the news that have been coming out of Rhodes University these days about structures being taken, da taken down. And today we're talking about putting up a structure in his name. Can I say, uh, Desiree, it's my view that uh, we must be very cynical about people who tremble in the face of the memory of the truth of history. The fact that there was apartheid in South Africa is the truthful history of this country. An attempt to run away from anything that reminds you about it is an attempt and a delay to explain its meaning so as to ensure that you don't repeat it. It's my attitude that we should not hide a single structure of history. And instead, we must actually assume an attitude of the superiority of humanity over object and use object as a laboratory, a laboratory of human development. Executive Mayor, you spent time with Chris Hani, and does the structure 
capture his essence? Why was it put up? This structure represents Chris, if you see the circle and the pillars. A lot of components that explain the struggle against apartheid and a struggle whose predetermination was to actually achieve a united South Africa. If you see this, 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 this circular, it sort of combines a lot of separated uh, sort of columns of the country. As you move towards the end, you will find that there are little pillars in the wall of remembrance that demonstrates the names as we are going to put them over time of all martyrs because Chris re represents the martyrs of peace and there is a team that has been put together to collect all these key names which died brutally in pursuit of peace. So once again a discussion about social cohesion right there. How should people utilize this monument? It's placed at the Thomas Nkobi Cemetery so a person would actually have to make the effort to come here. How should people be engaging with the memorial? I think the biggest challenge, Desri, is that we are fighting for a coercive society. Our forebears died for a coercive society. And that was actually finally decided in 1969 at Morogoro that national democratic society is what we should yearn for in South Africa where all kinds of people live together. Chris fought to die for that. The biggest challenge in South Africa to die is that are we conducting ourselves every day as advocates of that cohesive society? Um, and, and so on, yeah. Executive Mayor, we need to wrap up quickly. Tell us what's happening here today. Today, we are going to have a special visit by the President of South Africa, who will unveil this monument. Unusually, at the beginning, we will start with the wreath laying and unveiling before the main program starts because what we are trying to run away, especially as, as advised by his office, is that when we end with wreath laying and unveiling, the, the event gets disrupted. So we'll start by unveiling and wreath laying and later the main program will start where the mayor will do an address, Alliance will give messages of support and the president <laughs> will address the country. He refers to, to himself as the third person, the mayor will address. Thank you so much for your time, Mayor. You well. And we hope to engage with you later on. That's the Executive Mayor of Ekurileni, Mr. Mondi Gogubele, telling us about the unveiling of the Chris Honey Memorial, this towering structure behind me that's going to be unveiled today. Let's go to an ad.